What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to do a quick video. First of all, I want to apologize that uh, I haven't been doing quite as many videos as I have wanted to so far this year. Uh, I made it one of my New Year's resolutions, I guess you would say, for my channel that I would try to produce a video once every week. I haven't been doing that thus far. I've been trying. But uh, so today I wanted to update you on some of the things that are going on, some of the projects that I, that I have in the works. Um, today specifically one of the ones, or the one that I'm going to show you is a French cleat organization system that I'm building for my garage. Now um, if, if your garage is like a typical garage like mine, you've got a bunch of stuff in it and not a great place to put it. <clears throat> I've uh, done the best that I can, kind of. This, uh, this toolbox is a huge thing earlier, or late last year. But uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty cluttered. And, and uh, right now, since I'm doing this project, I can't even pull my other car in the garage. So here's what I'm working on. These are called French cleats. It is basically a board that is cut at a 45 degree angle that a cleat can sit on like so. Let me grab a piece. So the way this works is that you take a cleat and you attach it to something, you know, for example, these shelves. I've got a cleat on the back there that's, that's holding those up that looks like this. It's basically the other side of the piece that you cut uh, 45 degrees lengthwise and it sits on the back like that. And basically it can't go anywhere. It, it, it's held to the wall and it fits nice and snug in there. And so this is great because, you know, on the front of this cleat I could build, you know, a little thing to store my chisels or whatever. And then all you do is pop it down there and it's not going anywhere. And it holds quite a bit of weight, especially since you know, we've got some long screws put into the studs of the wall. This thing could hold, you know, five, 600 pounds pretty easily because <clears throat> it's, it's held on to like five different studs. So these are great and they're portable. You know, if you don't like the way you've got it organized, you pop them back off the wall and you put them somewhere else. It's not permanent. These are not, you know, they can, they can slide around. Well, it's too heavy to slide right now on the camera, but anyway, uh, they're portable. You can reorganize it. Um, I could put some more cleats on the other wall, which I haven't painted and finished yet. But uh, if I don't like the way my garage is organized, I can move it around. That's the beautiful part of this. The other beautiful part is it's cheap. You know, I've just bought some um, one by eights, I believe, and ripped them down the middle at a 45 degree angle, which created the, the shelf part and then the cleat part on the back. And I think those boards, I bought 12 foot pieces and I believe they were about, they're less than 10 bucks a piece. So don't go to the hardware store and spend hundreds of dollars on some fancy organization system when you can build your own um, for not very much money and for not very much time. Obviously these, these uh, shelves took a little bit more time, but um, you can make uh, holders for your tools. You can make uh, cabinets. You could put, you know, uh, doors on top on on the front of those and make them into cabinets. Um, there's lots of different things you can do. And uh, anyway, just wanted to update you on that. It's not quite done, but um, getting in the process of finishing this up. And then hopefully I'll move on to some more solar panel videos and some other cool stuff. So anyway, I apologize for not making more videos. But uh, I just wanted to give you an update on this one and uh, let you know that I am still committed to making a lot more videos this year. Thanks for watching. 